I was bow and arrow hunting. And I uh, started, I had on a safety vest, but uh, you gotta take it off to get down. And when I took it off and I started to get down, whatever I was holding on to broke. And I fell about 25 feet. Well, I had a hand surgery due to a bicycle accident. I uh, very unexpectedly became ill one morning and uh, I thought I was having a stroke at the time. And when I had my mammogram, they told me that there was just a small something. The guy that he um, was hunting with picked up the phone and uh, he said they're taking him to Botsford. I always thought that the place to be for your medical care was in a large research institution. The level of care at Botsford is so personalized. Uh, I've never had so many healthcare professionals, nurses, nursing assistants, doctors, heads of departments come in and check on me and see how I was doing. And the doctor came back a few moments later and he said, well, the, the good news is it's not stents, but the bad news is it's uh, you need open heart surgery and you need it very quickly. They treated me like I was the only person that was there. They treated me like I was family. Everybody has bad days, but I never saw one person there that looked as if they weren't thrilled to death to be there. They call you by name, they ask you how you're feeling, uh, they tell you how good you look today. You know, they are just, just beautiful people. There was a decision to be made, you know, by by her and my daughter about where we were going to go, you know, with the surgeries and like that. I, I could have been moved. I could have been flown to U of M, or I could have been shifted other places. Um, and, and that was a consideration, and was they, one uh, of the things to they, Our on. family, our whole family, talked about it, and, and they were and prayed about it. And they were com comfortable here, so we stayed. I was told that if I wanted to stay healthy, I needed to get involved in a program of cardiac rehab. So I can still remember the first day that I made the call to Botsford. And I asked at the, uh, ahead of time, I said, I live near Botsford. Is it all right if I go there? And they said, fine, they have, a, they have an excellent program. The first day I arrived, um, the nurse walked in to introduce herself and the nursing assistant walked in and they said, well, I'm Susan and I'm Lisa. And they jotted their names up and said, well, I'll be on this shift. So from seven to three, we'll be the ones that are taking care of you. And promptly the next shift came on and they introduced themselves, put their names up. It was like, wow, I've never had this before. You know, usually the nurses know me, but I don't know who the nurses are. And I just walked out with this huge sense of confidence that somebody is gonna keep track of me now. And they were so professional, so, gentle, they acted like they'd known me their whole lives. It was like coming into family to be taken care of. I had to sit up, it was like one of the prereqs that I could sit up and sit in a chair before I could go to the physical therapy floor. And you had to and, uh, take a step. I mean within two days they had me taking steps with a walker. And uh, then once I got my legs under me so to speak it, it went really well. By, by the end of the first week I was walking all the way around the nurse's station which is probably about a I don't know, probably a 75 yard walk. And, uh, and they, were, they were great. I see people walking through the hall. Uh, everybody will always greet you. They'll always say hello. It, it, it looks like the kind of place where people really enjoy working. I, I, I noticed that from the get go when I started coming here. You know, we beat the odds and, and we lived. Um, I hope it's getting the credit it deserves. Um, and the funds that it needs. Yeah. It's a very relaxing atmosphere, which I, I find, you know, an unusual word to use for a cancer center, but that's how I find it, very relaxing. I said, you know, I sort of felt like I must be a Kennedy. I'm thinking that's the level of care the Kennedy family gets. I can't say enough about the people that run that program. They're, they are the, they're the best. I have a great grandson, Liam James Watson, you know, and he's gorgeous. <laughs> and I'm very, very happy that I'm around to see him. I could feel God working through these people. There's not a doubt about it.